A little bit carnage out there, um, a lot of spray. Um, I got a really good start, actually. I, I made most of the places up in the first lap. Um, and then every time I got behind someone, they high-sided or lost the front or run wide. And so, yeah, I was uh, just kind of dodging people for the first three laps. But, uh, yeah, once I got into a nice rhythm and I had a little bit of a gap to J uh, Jason, which obviously I managed to bridge, um, the feeling was quite good. Um, I knew I wasn't going to catch these two boys, so... Uh, you know, third was my target, and um, once I got on the back of him, I had a little bit of a breather and, and, and just obviously made it count for, for the third place. It's, it's difficult, it's difficult, because to be honest, uh, for me, it's a little bit of rebuilding confidence in, in everything. So um, when I got out at the start, I was watching my pit board, and could see I was just breaking away a little bit. Um, but I was having a few moments, and I got to a relatively strong pace quite early. And then I actually saw Jake's board over the line and thought and saw plus seven seconds and I thought right it's just the two of us um, and towards mid-race I could see as we were coming out the hairpin that there was no one even sort of coming around the long left um, and I thought right it's sort of it's between us two but yeah Jake just had a little bit more if I'm honest um, so it's one of them you know I'm, I'm really happy really happy for the team the, motor, the whole Motor Repeater Ducati teams deserve it um, they gave me the bike in and, and I just sort of like rode around so yeah it was um uh, a good good race to be fair in every condition i felt really good this weekend and uh tommy at the beginning was, i was actually struggling to stay with him because he was setting such a good pace early on and the kawasaki seems to just take its time to to switch the back tire on and and once it came good i got past tommy and i thought right time to to push and try and break a gap now and then all of a sudden i couldn't change gear and then i was thinking oh no i think i'm stuck in whatever so and then i tried shutting off and I had to go to old school and, and, and riding it when you have no blipper or uh, upshift so I was having to shut off and, and then use the clutch as well so <laughs> it was hard work but uh, like I say it's a credit to the team to, to have the bike to allow me to go as fast as I did today and uh, hopefully we can do the same in race two.